Have you ever tried to balance a basketball on the tip of your finger? It can be a delicate process, trying to keep the ball perfectly still while the slightest movement could send it tumbling. In a way, the universe is like that ball, delicately balanced between existence and non-existence. And just like that ball, the universe could be tipped over at any moment, leading to a catastrophic end that would make the Big Bang look like a mere spark. The concept of vacuum decay may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's a real possibility that scientists have been grappling with for years. The idea is that there is a tiny chance that the universe could be in a false state, like a ball balanced on the point of an object. And just like a ball rolling down the hill, the universe could collapse into a more stable state, leading to the destruction of everything we know and love. Now you might be wondering, how does this affect me? After all, it's not like we can do anything to stop it. But understanding the science behind vacuum decay can help us appreciate the fragile nature of the universe and our place within it. So let's dive deeper into this mind-boggling concept and explore the possibilities of an instant universe-ending event. At the heart of the concept of vacuum decay lies the idea of a false vacuum. But what exactly is a false vacuum? And how does it relate to the possibility of the universe ending in an instant? To understand what a false vacuum is, we first need to understand the basics of vacuums themselves. A vacuum, in its simplest definition, is a space devoid of matter. But in the context of the universe, vacuums take on a more complex meaning. In the universe, a vacuum is a state of minimal energy. This means that it's the lowest possible energy state that the universe can exist in. In theory, this state is stable and should persist indefinitely. However, the idea of a false vacuum introduces the possibility that the universe may not be in its true lowest energy state. So what is a false vacuum? In essence, a false vacuum is a state that appears to be stable but is actually not the lowest possible energy state. It's like the aforementioned ball resting at the top of a hill, seemingly stable, but with the potential to roll down and reach a low energy state. In contrast, a true vacuum is the lowest possible energy state the universe can exist in. It's like the ball rolling all the way down the hill and coming to rest at the bottom, but with no potential to go any lower. Now you might be wondering, what happens if the universe is in a false vacuum? The answer is that it's not stable, and it could collapse into a true vacuum at any moment. This is known as electroweak vacuum decay, and it's a process that could happen at any moment. When the universe collapses into a true vacuum, it releases a massive amount of energy, equivalent to the entire energy of the universe. But how does this collapse happen? The answer lies in the concept of nucleation seeds. These are tiny fluctuations in the vacuum that can trigger the collapse of the false vacuum. They are like the tiny imperfections of the ball sitting at the top of the hill, giving it the potential to roll down. Only once a nucleation seed appears, it triggers the collapse of the false vacuum, leading to the release of all the energy stored within it. This energy is released in the form of a bubble that grows at the speed of light, destroying everything in its path. The idea of vacuum decay may seem like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's a real possibility that scientists have been grappling with for years. While the chances of it happening may be small, the consequences of it happening are catastrophic. So what can we do about it? Unfortunately, not much. The process of vacuum decay is beyond our control and there's nothing we can do to stop it. But understanding the science behind it can help us appreciate the fragility of the universe and our place within it. A false vacuum is a state that appears to be stable, but is actually not the lowest possible energy state. The collapse of a false vacuum 
can lead to the release of all the energy stored within it, resulting in instantaneous destruction. This collapse can be triggered by tiny fluctuations in the vacuum, known as nucleation seeds. To understand the chaos that is vacuum decay, we must also understand the basics of their birth, the aforementioned nucleation seeds. Nucleation seeds are tiny fluctuations in the vacuum that can trigger the process of vacuum decay. These fluctuations can arise due to quantum mechanical effects or thermal fluctuations, and they represent a small region of space where the vacuum energy is temporarily different from its average value. In the context of vacuum decay, nucleation seeds are particularly important because they can act as the trigger for a phase transition from a false vacuum to a true vacuum. The process of vacuum decay begins with the formation of one or more nucleation seeds, which then grow and merge to create a bubble of true vacuum. The probability of nucleation seed formation depends on the properties of the false vacuum as well as the temperature and other conditions of the surrounding space. In some cases, the probability of nucleation seed formation is so low that the process of vacuum decay is effectively impossible. In other cases, the probability may be high enough to pose a significant risk to the stability of the universe. Nucleation seeds are not unique to the context of vacuum decay. They are actually a common phenomenon in many areas of physics, including condensed matter physics, material science, and cosmology. For example, in condensed matter physics, nucleation seeds are responsible for the formation of bubbles or crystals in a supercooled liquid. In material science, they can play a role in the formation of defects or other imperfections in a material. In the context of cosmology, nucleation seeds have been studied extensively as a way to explain the formation of large-scale structures in the universe. The idea is that tiny fluctuations in the density of matter in the early universe served as nucleation seeds for the formation of galaxies, clusters of galaxies, and other large structures that we observe today. One particularly interesting example of nucleation seeds, the cosmos, is the cosmic microwave background radiation. The CMB is a remnant of the early universe, dating back to a time when the universe was just 380,000 years old. It is essentially a snapshot of the universe at that moment in time, and it provides a wealth of information about the properties of the universe. One of the most important features of the CMB is its small-scale temperature fluctuations. These fluctuations are believed to be the result of tiny density fluctuations in the early universe, which served as nucleation seeds for the formation of larger structures. By studying the pattern of temperature fluctuations in the CMB, cosmologists can learn about the properties of the early universe and the nature of the nucleation seeds that led to the formation of structure. The entire concept of a vacuum decay apocalypse is based on the concept of the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving particles mass. If the Higgs field were to change, it could trigger a catastrophic event known as vacuum decay. To understand what would happen if vacuum decay were to occur, we need to examine the underlying principles of the theory. The Higgs field is a theoretical field that permeates the universe. It is responsible for giving particles mass and is crucial to the functioning of the standard model of particle physics. However, the Higgs field is not stable, and it has a potential energy that is not at its minimum. The concept of vacuum decay arises from the idea that the Higgs field could reach its lowest energy state, which would cause a change in the fundamental structure of the universe. This change would be sudden and catastrophic, leading to the destruction of all matter and energy. The exact mechanism by which this would occur is complex and still a matter of debate among physicists, but the basic principle is that the Higgs field would undergo a phase transition, releasing a huge amount of energy in the process. At a macro scale, 
the effects of vacuum decay would be catastrophic. The destruction of all matter and energy would mean the end of the universe as we know it. The universe would simply cease to exist in an instant, with no warning or possibility of escape. The effect on the larger structures of the universe is still not fully understood, but it is likely that the explosion would be so large that it would cause a ripple effect throughout the cosmos. On a micro scale, the effects of vacuum decay would be equally catastrophic. The explosion would generate a massive amount of energy, which would be released as high energy particles. These particles would be highly destructive, causing widespread damage and destruction to any physical structures they encountered. The exact nature of this damage is still a matter of debate, but it is likely that it would be catastrophic, leading to the destruction of all life as we know it. If vacuum decay were to occur, it would likely happen extremely quickly and without warning. This means that we would not be able to predict when it would happen or detect any signs that it was about to occur. Therefore, if vacuum decay were to destroy the Earth, we would not know it was about to happen until it was too late. The chances of vacuum decay happening in our lifetime, or even in the lifetime of our species, are extremely low. The conditions required for vacuum decay to occur are highly specific and would require an enormous amount of energy to be present in a single location. Additionally, the Higgs field would need to be in a highly unstable state, which is not currently the case. However, it is important to note that scientists continue to study the Higgs field and its potential implications for the universe. By understanding the underlying principles of the universe, we may be able to better predict the behavior of the Higgs field and other fundamental forces. This research may also lead to the development of new technologies that can help us detect and understand the early warning signs of catastrophic events like vacuum decay.